The studio is Professor Dieter Bimberg. He is a physicist and a nanotechnology expert. Now, we journalists have long been promised a nanotechnology revolution. Now we see certain applications already, like the glove which stays dry. Is the nano revolution really coming now? The re re nano revolution has already entered our daily life. Everybody is using nanotechnology every day. For example, inside of your USB stick, mm -hmm. uh, there is a lot of nanotechnology. There is a nano flash, yeah, as memory device. And we do not know that nanotechnology, typically we do not know that nanotechnology is used for making that flash memory. Uh -huh. So we have, them in, have nanotechnology in all fields of our everyday life. What, what's the field you are actually working that on? That is uh, actually the century of nanotechnologies. Uh -huh. We're leaving the century, uh, we left the century of material science. And uh, I'm personally working in the field of nanophotonics. What does that mean? One of the uh, most exciting uh, subjects is that we are trying to replace our common way to uh, encipher uh, information. When I go, mm -hmm. for example, to a teller machine mm -hmm. and I put in this card, then all my data send, are sent to a, to a big computer. Mm -hmm. But uh, the data channel is inherently insecure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what we need is in the future a way to encrypt the data that really nobody can steal the data. And we do have losses of billions of euro or of billions of dollars every year just by people who are stealing such data. So that's actually quite an important field. If we look at other fields, like we see that the properties of uh, materials change when we go down to the nanoscale. For example, gold becomes from a very inert material to something very catalytic. catalytic. Um, what's the reason for that? When we uh, increase the surface of materials which we have, we change just the properties of these materials. So a, ma a porous material which consists essentially just out of holes and surfaces of material but nothing in between the surfaces mm -hmm. yeah has completely different properties than the bulk material mm -hmm. yeah and so by material engineering we can instead of importing more and more cobalt from the congo we can just use the materials which we do have in europe and by changing their properties and having new applications for these materials. And that is, from economic point of view, enormously important. Mm -hmm. Like for energy storage, hydrogen storage, for future energy efficient electrical driven cars. That would mean we could actually store hydrogen a lot more easily than we do today in, in, in the batteries. With the new organometallic compounds, we just are strongly porous. We can store in 50 kilograms, approximately four kilograms of hydrogen, which is enough for driving us 500 kilometers. That's amazing. You have convinced me nanotechnology is the future. Thanks a lot for the talk, Professor Bimberg.